What's up guys, back again for another review. I'm gonna have to cram this one in nine minutes, so we're gonna make it quick, but that's gonna be easy because this is a beer that I'm really familiar with. It's been a while since I've had it. It should be in the torture trials, but since it used to be one of my favorites and I used to drink it all the time and it's really not that bad of a beer, I figured I'd just go ahead and do a straight out review of it. Today, we have Miller High Life, okay? A lot of people on YouTube have reviewed this and they've, you know, Hoggy's Beer Review particularly is one that comes to mind. He uh, did it as an unofficial foul beer, foul beer review, but he didn't, I, I, he didn't rip, it, rip on it that hard, I guess. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to give this one a review. This used to be my favorite beer when I was a fresh, new beer drinker and didn't know anything about beer and when I was young we'll put it that way young like as in very young but um basically it's an adjunct lager you know this used to be miller's flagship beer back in the day and then mgd came out miller light came out and they dropped this down to their economy beer you know a lot of people drink it i picked this one up today for like 460 a six pack it's cheap as hell it's not terrible it's not the worst you can buy for the price but let's go ahead and get down to it. It's an adjunct lager, like I said. I'm pretty sure Miller is a rice beer. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. So we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna do it in one of the ribbed pint glasses. You know, cause it doesn't deserve any better than that, I guess. Even though we poured a 40 in my badass, you know, Sam Smith pint glass. How that works, I don't know. So let's get down to this since I've only got nine minutes. Now, this beer eh, brings back a lot of memories. It was really the very first beer I ever, you know, sat down and enjoyed. Miller Lite, not really. Bud Light, not so much. But this one, I would buy by the, you know, the 12-pack and enjoy it. I remember getting cases of this for my birthday with a bow on it. You know, it was one of my favorites, so... As you can see, crystal clear, I can see you guys through the beer, minus the ribs, up to the glass, looks like fizzy apple juice, head is that foamy, soapy, nasty, you know, basic adjunct lager head. Ooh, wow, that's worse than I remember. Smell, smells like cooked, cooked rice, okay, and cheap ass malt. Let's get a flavor on it. Okay. It's not terrible. Okay. There the aftertaste sucks. Now that I'm tasting it, I'm thinking it's a corn beer. Um now that I think about it, I think Coors is the rice adjunct lager and this one's the <laughs> corn like Bud Light. Um, in the back that's when it starts to taste cheap. It starts to water out and there's not really much there to you know give it that finishing effect. It just kinda just goes <clears throat> if that makes any sense. <clears throat> now I've been drinking stouts all day. I had, no I take that back, I had a rogue dead guy ale at lunch I had a moose drool at lunch, then I had a Guinness draft at the bar, then I had two Temptrists, which are nine, you know, and now I'm onto this. I got another Guinness, no, I got a brown, uh, Newcastle Brown Ale in the fridge, and the rest of that 40 plus this six pack. So we, we got a good amount of beer we need to drink tonight, so it's going to be fun. And the girlfriend's making tacos, which this is a good taco beer, to be honest with you. Up front, it has some presence. You can get some malt. It has flavor, but it cheapens out, like I said at the back. You get water, corn. Now, it's not as sour, and I say sour because, you know, a lot of the uh, Miller Lights and Bud Lights, Bud Light in particular tries to, tries, tends to taste sour on the back end and this one doesn't really do that you know 
it's it's you want to hate it but you can't okay for the price you really can't because I can pick a lot more beers for the price that are way more expensive it's just it's refreshing like this is like I say this is probably a lawn mowing beer to be honest with you I know <clears throat> Some IPAs could be more refreshing after being out in the heat, but this one, man, I could easily take down a six pack of these after mowing a lawn or doing something extraneous out in the heat if they were frigid. And this one's not even all that cold. Now, let's search the bottle, see if we can get some, uh, no additives or preservatives. Okay, so the flavor is 100% cheap, shitty stuff. Uh, July 4th. Wow, this needs to be enjoyed by Independence Day. That's awesome. Let me see if I can get it in there. July 4th. Wow, that's awesome. America. <laughs> um, it just says, you know, Milwaukee Brewing Company, blah, 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 which, you know, as I've said in other videos, Miller owns Coors now, so it's Miller Coors uh, conglomerate, and then you got Anheuser Busch, InBev, Bex, all that shit, and then Heineken. Heineken buys up beers like you wouldn't believe, so I'm surprised they didn't buy up Coors, and I'm surprised that nobody's bought up Miller yet, to be honest, because I drank a lot of Miller Lite back in the day, and. It just seems to have taken a, a, a landslide to Bud Light. It's like Bud Light's campaigning has just gotten so much better over the years, even though their beer hasn't. Oh, I can smell the ground beef for the tacos. I guess I better finish up this review so I can get to eating, right? And I've only got a minute and 45 seconds left, so let's get down to this. But like I said, it's... You can get a little bit of malt, a little bit of hops up front, but it cheapens out towards the back, and that's when you get the corn and the water. But overall, where beers are concerned, it's not atrocious, you know. Uh, I would drink it over Bud Light Lime. Well, I can't really say that, because the lime flavor in Bud Light Lime kind of just overpowers everything. But if, if I was going to pick, and I picked this one for a reason... This is a good beer to pair with tacos, burgers, hot dogs, you know, those kind of foods. But for the most part, it's not, it's middle of the line. So for beers in general, I'm going to go ahead and give it like a four. Because it's, it's just okay. It's mediocre. And for what it is, an adjunct lager, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it an eight for the style. Because it's an adjunct lager. And it beats out all the other adjunct loggers, in my opinion. So, thumbs up in the adjunct logger category. Eh. In the, uh, you know, the regular beer category. So, we'll see you in the next one. Don't know what we're going to do. We might try to do another taste test. i got to get that video up anyways because you haven't even seen it yet. So, later. Stay tuned. Adios.